and my friend Mike with the Grill Cleaning Pro, um, heading home and uh, um, had to pull over because I, I was reflecting upon uh, my day to day, and um, um, it was just one of these things that um, uh, it was just a great day. It was just a great day. Um, I started my day off uh, um, cleaning the grill, had to do a repair on that grill. Um, it took me roughly about three hours to do the cleaning and the repair and uh, charged three fifty for it. Uh, so a little over a hundred dollars an hour um, on that. And uh, um, then I went and did a, uh, another quick repair that took me less than a half an hour and charged one eighty five for that. But um, uh, so all in all, today's um, hourly rate was pretty darn good. Um, but that's not what I'm reflecting upon. Um, you know, I was kind of uh, uh, driving home and, and uh, decided to stop and take a lunch. Um, took an hour lunch, and uh, I haven't done that in a long time. Not because I, I don't have the time to um, to take a lunch, but I just I don't take the time for myself sometimes. And I think as entrepreneurs, we we should we we should we should schedule in time to um you know just go take a lunch um take take our our spouses out to, to lunch you know during the middle of the week um how many times are you uh, driving around um going to an appointment and you just see a couple sitting in at a starbucks outside you know having coffee or whatever and, and you're going god why can't i do that myself and um you know today i decided um to do that myself and um um, didn't have my wife with me, but, um, you know, I did it myself and, um, you know, today's just one of those days where, where, you know, it's a slight breeze out, uh, uh, blue skies, hardly any clouds in the sky, 60 degrees. Um, you know, it's a week, week and a half before Thanksgiving and it's just a, a perfect day to clean grills. And, um, you know, I, the, I was reflecting upon, um, today that, that, um, uh, you know, the reason why I'm able to do this is because um, of my team. Um, I've got a team that um, is, is amazing. The, and I want to say it like it is. They do the hard work so I don't have to. Um, in fact, um, uh, this year more so than any other year, I, I have stepped off the truck and, and out of the field more than I ever have in, in years past. And we, we've we've grown revenue wise, um, far greater than I could have imagined, um, by stepping off the, um, off the truck. Um, last year I went through a, a huge bout of depression from burnout. Uh, I was so burnt out that I almost uh, gave this business up and just walked away from it. And, um, um, I got coached through it and, um, um, got through it, but, um, it was, it was debil debilitating for me. Um, so I talk in my, my ebook, uh, black gold secrets that, um, to grow your business, you've got to let go to grow. And I had to do that. I had to let go to grow. Um, I was my biggest, uh, um, my, my, my biggest pain point that was, uh, caused me a lot of burnout was, uh, answering the phones, uh, while I'm out in the field, uh, trying to clean grills, you know, t uh, trying to answer every call, um, scheduling people while I'm still trying to clean grills. And, um, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't keep up with, uh, the cleanings, um, and the phone calls and the scheduling and the whatever else. So, um, it burnt me out and, um, uh, I finally had to bring somebody into the office to, uh, to take over scheduling and the phones. And, um, I was scared to death. I was scared to death to, to, to bring this person on. And, and, um, I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to pay her. I wasn't going to be able to afford her. I thought I was going to, uh, cripple the company, uh, financially. Um, and, um, you know, I, I'll tell you, um, not only did I bring her on, I brought her on part-time initially. She's full-time now. And I've even given her a raise since. Um, she's taken such a, a workload off of me that um, I'm no longer burnt out. In fact, I, I, I woke up around July 4th or after July 4th, you know, which is our, the end of our, our peak season. And um, I go, I'm not, 
I didn't have any burnout this year. And it was because I let go to grow. One of the, the side benefits of having her, and you might not even be thinking about this if you're if you're struggling to bring someone on in the office to get, get off the, the phones, is that um, she actually made my guys better technicians. Um, I was playing um, good cop, bad cop with, with my guys, and I was looking at the, excuse me, the requests coming in, and, and uh, I was looking, hey, this person, uh, I don't know if he could do that. Uh, he, this is going to be too hard for him. Uh, he doesn't like this. And I would schedule it for myself. And um, uh, now that I'm not scheduling, she's just basically putting the appointments onto my guy's schedule. And they're just doing it. And it's making them better employees, better uh, cleaning technicians, and they're okay with it. And I was taking on that workload myself last year because it was like I put myself in their position and and didn't want to overwork them, overload them, give them too hard of a job, whatever the case may be. So I took it on, and I was just taking on way too much. So um, I finally had to let go to grow. And uh, right now, I don't know what my guys are are doing on a daily basis we we look at the schedule in the morning and and I look at it and go that sucks for you if it's too hard or damn dude you got a great day today um and they're okay with it because they are okay with it and they want to do the work and um uh so in my book uh uh black gold secrets I talk about gotta let go to grow if you're struggling to get off the truck and you're struggling to um hire employees or hire first employee, um, I, I encourage you to, um, uh, let, let's talk about it. Let's, let's figure out what the, uh, where you're struggling with uh, and what's holding you back, um, doing so. Um, why are you not getting off the truck? Is it because you don't have employees? Is it because you don't have, um, uh, help in the office? Um, are you not hiring an employee because you, you've maybe hired a turd in the past and, and, or, um, you don't feel like you're ready or big enough or uh, your spouse is telling you that um, you, your, your time is free so you should be doing all the cleanings, um, whatever the case may be. Um, I encourage you to let go to grow. And let's talk about it. So anyways, um, that's all I got today. Uh, let go to grow and... Um, Let's uh, seize your opportunities to, to build your business, to grow your business. Uh, you're not going to do that with um, uh, being on the truck. You just can't do it. It's physically impossible. You're going to plateau out. You're going to burn out. So uh, let's let go to grow. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.